As an MEP, my job is to protect the climate, to make sure we have high standards of animal welfare and clean air and water. We fought hard to make sure we've got high standards here in Europe, but by harmonising our standards with those in the US, we could see them fall and we won't be as well protected. So we want to protect our democratic right here in the EU and not let it be undermined by the TTIP Trade Treaty. The Commission is not proposing a sort of reformed ISDS proposal, but this proposal changes nothing at the very fundamental flaws of ISDS, the investor-state dispute settlement mechanism, because it still gives investors a separate judicial system that favours big business over citizens. We are not going to accept that. A secret deal is never a good deal. Despite what the Commission claims, for most part the TTIP negotiations are still conducted in the secret. And only a very small number of MEPs have access to the so-called consolidated negotiation texts. And uh, the public has access to even much less. Uh, what is worrying is that um, uh, the influence of all kinds of uh, corporate uh, lobbyists is uh, quite high and we need to make sure that information is available for both uh, parliamentarians and citizens alike. Public services such as healthcare, social services, education, they're the underpinnings of our society and they're not goods to be traded like tourism, website design, whatever. We're told that TTIP will not affect these public services. Well, reassure us, exclude them completely from the negotiations and then we won't have to worry. The main argument used to defend this transatlantic treaty is its positive impact on jobs and growth. Actually, the only pseudo-study that the Commission is using would, would mean that basically this would create 0.5% additional growth over 10 years that is even less than the margin of error of such studies. But actually, let's look at those who asked for this treaty. It's AmCham and it's Business Europe, the federations of large multinationals who want this, who want this treaty exactly to boost the profit margins of the large multinationals. Well, we believe that this is not worth such a, a defeat of democracy.